that's going to cause your voltage source to overheat and it may cause an electrical fire. Okay. So what I really want to do is snip this wire and maybe I'd basically do this. I'd have exposed wire on both ends here. And then I would have exposed wire on both ends of this one. And um, you can actually take wire. So if you have two exposed copper wires like this and you want to connect two elements together, you can just basically <clears throat> hold up the copper like this and twist it around itself. And if you twist it like this, you're going to get now this bulb connected to this wire. And of course, I can do the same thing here. If I want to connect these two exposed copper ends together, I can twist them with my fingers around each other. And now I have a light bulb connected to two pieces of wire. I can touch these to each end of my battery and look at that. It lights up, right? So at, at a minimum, a circuit should have wire to conduct the charges, some kind of device to use that electrical energy. So in this case, a light bulb, and that's going to help slow the current down. So things don't get super hot or catch fire. And then of course you need the voltage source, which pushes the energy through the wire. So there's a basic circuit.